Hi guys. So I wanted to do the first assignment to the virtual homeschool co-op. Um, I'm going to do the first assignment in number one and number two since I'm a week behind. So the first assignment for the virtual homeschool co-op, if you don't know what that is, um, I'll link it down below in my description box. But I also, um, I also have an intro video and it explains a little bit about it. Um, so basically, uh, the first assignment is how structured or relaxed are you in your homeschool? And there's categories. So the first category is uh, for curriculum. How structured or relaxed are you in curriculum? Choosing curriculum and so forth. So I'm going to say that I'm very relaxed um, right now um, because I, you know, I said it in my intro video where um, one year we can just follow a, a, an exact curriculum to the T and the next year we're like pulling big, you know, bits and pieces from here and there using different curriculums and different, you know, books and stuff like that. So I'm not as uh, structured. I'm very relaxed. Um, I just want to find what works for my kiddos and just use that. Um, how structured or relaxed am I uh, about my day? So for my day, I have to say I'm super structured because um, if I don't finish everything in my list, it doesn't feel like a homeschool day for me. Like my kids, we have a schedule and you know, we start from the morning, the Bible's first, we do our uh, history or science and everything has to go like according to the schedule for me to feel like I've had a good, successful, full homeschool day. So yeah, I'm very structured when it comes to that. Um, as, far, as far as my space, um, if I'm structured or relaxed in my space, I'm gonna say I'm a very good mix of both because we do homeschooling in my kitchen. Uh, I have a small house. Uh, I've been blessed with a new home this year and it's small. So we work with the space we have. I have a video on that too. Um, and um, we work off our kitchen table or there's this little um I have two um like classroom tables that I use for them they, they use those tables to do independent work and I kind of always um you know say you know this is where you you know go here or do this here and it's always the same area but there are days where I'm like super relaxed and say you know what today we're gonna change it up um let's go to the porch or let's you know Let's go to the backyard and, you know, let's read in the living room floor, you know. So I can have, you know, like a, you know, a mix and max of, a, mix, a good mix of both um, for my space. But, uh, yeah, those are the, um, that's the first assignment for the virtual homeschool, homeschool co-op. And for the second assignment is how do we deal with negativity? Um... And how to, you know, if any advice that I have for others that are dealing with negativity. So, basically, um, in my pers like in my life right now, I don't have a lot of homeschool negativity coming my way. Um, you know, yes, there's people that voice their opinions and stuff like that. But for somebody to say, oh, you should not be doing that. Like, you're not smart enough for it. You know why like you know why would you think you could do that I, I never had those horrible remarks or comments like that um, I've had people be like oh wow you're homeschooling oh you know and then you know whatever <laughs> but um, I'm very blessed to have a lot of homeschool um, moms surrounding me you know and um, so not so much negativity but you know I guess I can say um, in my in my life right now, um, you know, things do change. Once you become a homeschool mom, you don't have as much in common with other people that are not homeschool moms. So those that you have very close relationships with can kind of not be as close anymore because this major part of your life is, is huge. You know, um, you know, they don't have that in common with you. So, you know, I could say that that's one part that, you know, us moms have to get used to, I guess. But in my in my perspective, I think God puts people in your life for a reason. They fulfill a purpose, and then once that purpose is over, you know, you know, they move on. Your friendships change. People, you know, you know, forever change. You know, thing, and that's okay. You know, um, I'm just very blessed because now 
I'm more surrounded by homeschool moms. My church is like a pro homeschool all the way. Love my church um, because, you know, I have so much support, you know. But that's one thing I, I have to say about, it's not so much of a negative thing, but, um, you know, sometimes it, it does, like, you know, you get impacted by that. You're like, oh, wow, you know, relationships do change, you know. And uh, the people that don't understand why your homeschool won't be as close to you or, you know, they don't call you as much or they just, you know, let you go. And that's fine, you know. Um, but I am very, I'm very pro homeschool. So when somebody says, oh, so how do you do it? Or, wow, that's interesting. I kind of just, you know, answer, oh, yeah, let me tell you. I, I got to tell you, it's like awesome in the state that I'm in, you know. My state is like, you know, very supportive of homeschoolers. We have an organization that we were part of. And, you know, so I, I try to like, you know, just give them knowledge of what, you know, why I homeschool and, you know, how easy it can be to homeschool now, at least for us here um, in my state. Um, so, yeah, um, that's my answer for that one for assignment number two. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will start saying that if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to see more videos i want to start um doing some day in the life soon so you guys can see my kiddos at work and how i do my homeschool my life you know my home um and also um i'll see you in the next virtual homeschool co-op video and thank you so much for watching god bless